going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. It's your boy Uncommon Sense here and I'm coming at you today with another global review. This was a little different. It's coming from an indie fragrance house called Sweet Fumes. The fragrance is 450 X Factor. Upon first spraying the fragrance on, you get a lot of scent distributed to the skin. As you guys can see, when you spray it out the atomizer, it does come out a bit oily. But here's to hoping that that means it sticks around quite nicely. The atomizer provides a good amount of coverage. The fragrance itself is just a smidge oily, more so than the other toilets that I'm more accustomed to. What I am noticing about the fragrance is that it sits a little closer to my skin at this point in time, but I do have a good feeling that it will probably last all day. The scent profile is extremely similar to two things that I've actually smelled before. They've actually come from the same house. So it's going to be Azaro Chrome and Azaro Wildly. This fragrance reminds me of a hybrid of both of those fragrances. If I had to classify this fragrance, I would put it in the category of an aromatic fougere. It has that aqueous amber, melon, and mint combination. Definitely mint in the open. I recently learned something about Calypsone. Calypsone is the note that kind of tones up melon-like. One of them. I know Cologne is one that has that aquatic melon scent as well. The amber comes along towards the end and anchors the fragrance with a recognizable sweetness. This is a fragrance that, of course, I would have in my collection. I don't particularly care for Azaro Chrome. It has a sugar water type of vibe. It's just not my jam. However, I love Wild Men. I have that one in my collection. And I feel like this one is unique enough to actually take a spot up in Uncommon Sense. I can see myself wearing this a lot in the spring and summertime. I'm not exactly sure how it will perform in cooler weather. It sits quite close to my skin. But it's an enjoyable aroma. I really feel like it can do no wrong. It's a very safe fragrance that you can wear to work. Signature scent worthy, for sure. I think it's a solid release from Sweet Film. I'm new to the house, they're new to me as well. So uh, my man Walla was kind enough to provide the Eau de Toilette. I'm all about rocking with small businesses. I'm a small business myself, so you guys can check this out. Get it in your collection, give it a test run. Let me know what you guys are thinking. If you've smelled this one before, which I highly doubt that you have, since it's an uncommon scent. I really feel like you guys should give it a try and let me know your thoughts on the fragrance. I believe it's a quality fragrance. And again, you get a lot. This is a lot of fragrance. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through this, but I enjoy trying to figure it out. I did six sprays across the body. After a while, I did make sure that it wasn't as oily and patted it in a little bit. I try not to rub fragrances in because I know that can disrupt the scent profile, but since this one has an oilier base, it was a little necessary before I put on my shirt. I feel like it's signature scent worthy. Going to work, maybe an interview. I don't know if I'd wear this out on a date. I don't think I'd wear this to a club or anything like that. That's going to do it for my initial first impressions. Stay tuned for the recap as we chronicle the day and let you guys know how this fragrance performed and what are our final thoughts. What's the final synopsis? So welcome back on Common Sense Fam. The day has wrapped and I just want to come back to you guys and give you my synopsis of our fragrance of the day. 450 X Factor by Sweet Fumes. My update for today is I noticed that the fragrance is not a projection monster. 
which is actually totally okay. Every fragrance does not have to be a projection monster, nor does every fragrance need to be a longevity monster. I will tell you this, when I tuck in, I can smell the fragrance still. So longevity is not necessarily an issue with this fragrance at all. It's just not much of a projector. Not a big problem for me because sometimes we need a break from all the beast mode. So it can just be quite overwhelming. So I'm not mad at it at all. I'm actually pretty impressed with the performance. I work in an office, nothing too crazy or strenuous. It's not like I've sweated at all. Maybe we'll need to check this in other conditions. It's kind of cool today in Chicago, but windy too. It's about 63 degrees check back in and show you guys that bad boy again and let you guys get a feel for performance I honestly feel like it did pretty well and it brought something a little different to my collection that I don't have I definitely will classify this one as an easy wear Very utilitarian type of outwear work casual situations maybe not for a date it's not really a romantic fragrance to me it's a aromatic fougere and that's totally fine every fragrance does not have to be a date night knock your socks off type of fragrance this one actually has some practical use i can see this being a signature scent for the gentleman who indeed likes to smell great sometimes i have my low maintenance moments this works perfectly for me in those types of situations all criticisms aside 450 x factor by sweet fumes is a solid fragrance i'm not really tested the extract version that came. I don't know what that gives. Maybe that gives us a little bit more boom in the department of projection. We'll see though. This bottle kind of reminds me of a Cartier fragrance. 450X McDonald. How will we rate this fragrance? As far as smell and uniqueness, references a fragrance that a lot of gentlemen in Fragcom adore and swear by, especially for a very affordable fragrance, aka what people are calling cheese. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half because it technically does not smell exactly like anything that I've smelled. In terms of packaging or presentation, I like this bottle. I like the fact that it came with an extract roll-on. Give it a seven and a half there, to be honest. I don't know exactly what the final package is gonna look like, but I like the bottle and I like the fact that it came with a roll on. Came right on price. I'm not exactly sure what the exact price is at this moment, what the price point would be. But I think it's fair. I rated it 10 for what it ended up costing me. The manufacturer sent it to me, provided he just wanted me to review it, really. I get to keep the fragrance, I do a review, tag a minute, and I think that's fair. I want to make it very clear uncommon sense at this point is not being paid to put these reviews out. I'm actually just sharing my experience with fragrances and my fragrance journey. I'm not being paid, I'm not a paid spokesperson. This review is not sponsored. It has not been influenced by anyone. So with that being said, all of these views are my own. These fragrances I purchased with my money. <laughs> Even though Sweet Fumes gifted this to me, I still felt the need as a small businessman, entrepreneur, perfumer, designer, creative. I felt the need to compensate another creative for their work. In terms of play, didn't get any play, didn't get any compliments on this one. To go back to the beginning, I don't necessarily wear my fragrances for compliments, but I'm not around too much of anybody these days, maybe except one or two coworkers. And six feet, you may not get a compliment ever. <laughs> As far as projection goes, this one is not a projection monster. I'm gonna give it a six there. I can smell it, but the projection is very minimal. Is it a cop or a drop? I'm gonna say it's a cop depending on where you are in your fragrance journey. If you are still building your fragrance journey, I think this is a solid aromatic fougere to have. And it's quite different enough. Even if you have a few aromatic fougeres, this one's gonna stand out a little bit more for the fact that it I haven't smelled anything that smelled exactly like it. I've not picked this up and be like, oh yeah, this smells like so and so. I smell elements of things that I recall. Again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. Let me know if you guys have heard of this one, seen this one, tried it, smelled it. Let me know what your experience is with 450X Factor. 
and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. And we out. Till next time. The Eau de Toilette spray board. Mm. My man Walla was. It's bumpy, so that with me. Drive it down. If I had to classify this fragrance, I would think this would probably be a fougere or a chipre. Not exactly sure which one because it does have an uh well, maybe aromatic too. However, I think this is a good enough However, I, I enjoy mint type of vibe. That's ridiculous. I feel like it's an it's fragrances that I'm that are staples for the gentleman so now it's cute aromatic two chairs I'm gonna rate it a nine for what it ended up costing